All right, Halos, how's everyone doing? We are back once again in 14.9 uh, now, patch notes. Uh, this is a big one, right? Or, like, relatively. Not that big, I guess, but uh, the next patch is going to be a huge one. I don't know if you guys, you had seen anything, Drew. But, um, yeah. <laughs> next one's going to be a doozy. But this is the one just before then, uh, just after the MSI patch, basically. Um, looks like they got some Empyrean skins and stuff coming out as well. Here are the highlights, of course. Uh, the champion radius is kind of interesting. Uh, Warwick's not going to be the smallest, uh, one of the smallest ones anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that was like, so funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, uh, Vanguard is here. Um, I heard some people were having trouble, like, had to, like, re reinstall their computer or something because of this. Uh, uh, so I, I had, happened, uh, but... I had some trouble, but I didn't have to just, just completely reboot my computer. I just had to, like... That's good. Reinstall a couple of things. So okay, yeah. was it like league related stuff or just like random? Yeah, it was all league okay. related stuff. Yeah. Fair enough. That's fine. All right, cool. Uh, all right, DirectX nine is going to be gone uh, now. So if you were using that for whatever reason, um, can't do that anymore. So there you go. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. <laughs> uh, the least in ASU. Uh, did you look at any of this stuff yet? I hadn't got a close um... look, but. I I knew I haven't looked at his rework like his visual rework. I just knew it was out, but I haven't actually. I played a few games. I haven't seen recent yet, so I haven't got to see it like in game. Okay, yet. okay. I was wondering if it was going to be a little more popular because of that, but yeah, uh, it looks like they are changing and like upgrading all the skins a little bit. Looks like they're increasing a couple prices on them as well. Yeah, um, just a yeah, few yeah. of them though, but. Oh, the legacy ones are coming back though. That's cool. I think yeah, I got like a, a like shard a of this. limited time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That's cool. I like that. Um, and then ranked one, split one and two timing. Uh, the split one end date is March or sorry May fourteenth at basically like the last moment of mid before midnight, I guess. And then uh, split two start date is the next second. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna start on May fifteenth um, at exactly midnight so there you go um this is your server's local time so yeah, yeah, yeah. something but yeah uh that's gonna be i didn't realize it was quite that close i thought we still had like 25 or 30 days so um definitely gonna be like trying to grind out as much as i can before then i still gotta get some of those like shards and things from ranked so mm, uh, yeah and they um, chest. because they're trying to fit in three splits this year so that's yep. why definitely you know they're yeah they're it feels like it's earlier than it has been for sure for sure all right so that's exciting uh arena is coming back for round three there's got a bunch of stuff here should we do some arena rundowns or just kind of go the normal patch what do you think um i haven't played any arena since it came back so maybe maybe the next patch notes because i don't know okay, okay. i feel like i feel like with arena i gotta get like hands on with it you know yeah that's fair that's fair but yeah there uh, it, is, it is a lot of fun though so i'm excited that it's uh back yeah definitely i think this one's like uh bigger so yeah it's like twice the size now oh so it's sort of eight there's okay. like 16 people or something so it's pretty crazy uh a bunch of different stuff there's a new tier called prince prismatic which are big items added mm -hmm. anvils like tft kind of and some other stuff. So they've also done a little bit of balancing around a few champions. Are you got some changes? This year, Nar, Karthus, Lux, Shin, Vex, Zareth, and Ziggs are the ones okay. that got some stuff. I know Zareth's got some like so basically just buffs all around, basically. So kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, nice. uh, these are the big gameplay changes below, uh, and then there's some smaller gameplay changes below uh, below that. But we're gonna get into the first one. Do you want to start us off? Uh, yeah, we'll do Hex Drinker here first. Uh, it, it's, it's funny because it says this is a big game code change, but then it says <laughs> we're making a small change to Hex Drinker. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I assume the big change is, is small. Yeah, so it is, let's it see. Is. Uh, for Hex Drinker, just MR comes down by five, which I don't think is a big deal. And then the build path is a little different. Yep, yep. For Maul, though, it is granting. Uh, it's well, so first off, it's more expensive. Uh, but what is that like three hundred gold? Yeah. And then yeah. it's gonna grant some ability haste, which is pretty nice. That's good. MR is down. Attack damage is up. Um, the lifeline duration is up by a half second. And then it gives. I think this is potentially a big change. It gives um, Omni Vamp instead of Life Steal, and I think Omni Vamp is just. I think the way that it's calculated, I think Omnivamp is like 
almost always better than white yeah, steel so i think definitely. i think this is like pretty pretty good buff for for maul yeah absolutely um the ls was saying this is like this completely destroys maul i don't quite think so personally but um i mean it's 300 gold more so you're not getting this quite as early of course um if you are like rushing as the first item to to stave off like a, a high magic damage champion um but you do get hex drink a little bit easier build path um Assuming that you're not just buying it all at once, uh, you have that extra longsword in there, and it only costs 150 combined gold as well. So it's a little bit nicer. But yeah, the Omnivamp is pretty nice. The lifeline duration is pretty nice. And then uh, just getting the extra ability haste as well is fine. I think uh, I think it's overall a buff for me um, personally, but I don't really buy this item that much anyway, so I'm not really worried about it, honestly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, all right, got Death Dance, a little bit of a change here. Looks like the build path, the item recipe is changing a bit. We have uh, Pickaxe in there, and then the combined cost is 125. So instead of the combined cost of 1,000, you have an extra component in there. And then attack damage is going up by 5, which is really nice, for sure. Um, and then Defy Healing uh, was 50% bonus AD, now it's 75% bonus AD. So you're getting a lot more healing back. Um, based on how much AD you have, bonus AD, specifically. So they're kind of buffing this back up. You know, we don't have, like, Gore Drinker and stuff anymore, so mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. that was when this item was mega broken, so I think they're giving it a little bit more power now. So there you go. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Steric Gauge. This one is just a straight-up nerf. It's more money, and it will... The cooldown on the passive is up by a good amount there, 30 seconds. So I think it's just, like... This is the one, the most popular one, so they nerfed it, so and then buffed yeah. the other one. So yeah. yeah, this is a pretty big, pretty big nerf, I'd say. Um, but yeah. I think probably elite play will still see it quite a bit, but um, lower elo maybe not quite as much. We'll have to see. Uh, Sundered Sky, we got some nerfs to this one and Eclipse. These are like the two top fighter items that have been performing really well. And so light shield strike per target per target cooldown is going from six seconds to eight seconds per target. So uh, definitely a nice, I mean, a pretty sizable nerf there as well. And then light shield strike healing is uh, it was 140% base AD plus 6% missing health. Now it's 120% base AD, so down by 20% of your base AD. Um, not super crazy just because it's only base, not like total or bonus, but still quite a decent sized nerfs there um i wonder if we'll i wonder if it'll go down in priority as much just from this or um what exactly will change hard to say for sure what do you think about that yeah i don't know none of my champions ever build sundered sky but that's fair. that's fair um the i mean this feels like it would be less like bot popular just because of the nerf yeah i feel like it'll be less popular yeah okay uh, and then uh last big item change it's gonna be eclipse um, so with Eclipse, they are making it, it's just a nerf, but it's a nerf to the melee users. So it's down 8% target max health, down to 6% target max health. Um, and yep. it's just for melee, ranged is unchanged. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's just going to be a lot weaker, basically. Um, kind of sad to see, but I think it was pretty, pretty Maybe OP. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, definitely a really nice item. And apparently, I guess a lot of people were um, getting it as first item. Item getting that early power spike for only 2,800 gold. So yeah, uh, pretty yeah, nice. Yeah. I think this one's like 31 or 32, maybe. Um, so I think that one is, yeah. That one's I think. Expensive. Maybe I'm completely I'm wrong. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so a uh, nice little nerf there as well for, on Eclipse Abusers. Uh, up first, we got Akshan for our champions changes. Um, Avengering, his Q, move speed on champion hit, uh, was 20 to 40% scaling uh, now as base, and then it was now 20% at all ranks uh, move speed. And then, of course, it scales with plus 5% per 100 AP, which you don't really build much AP on him, but just in case you did. Uh, <laughs> yep. Damage to non champions uh, was. 40 to 90 percent based on rank and it's now 40 to 80 percent so getting a little bit less uh damage to non-champion so minions uh, can't use this quite as much as clearing waves so i wonder if this at level nine which most hit champions break points of clearing waves especially like backlane minions i wonder if this um leaves them at like a little bit of hp still that you have to auto them or not um 
or you, maybe you have to have like level 10 to level 11 stuff like that uh, actually no because it would be still be five you just have to you'd have to buy more ad i think to to hit that threshold maybe i'm not sure though but yeah uh r come up in minimum damage per bullet was uh 20 to 30 and plus 10 percent total ad and then based on rank of course and then uh, now it's 25 to 45 so you're getting extra five extra 10 extra 15 damage per bullet as minimum and then now it's 15 percent of your total ad as well and then that's just reflected pretty much a little bit here with the maximum damage per bullet being up uh 15 rank one and then up five rank two and then up 15 rank three that's kind of weird but okay um and then yeah, it's weird, but yeah, yeah like second rank is not quite as as big of a buff Oh, sorry. No, it's it's down by five level one. That's what I that's what I messed up. Down by five. Down, down by five. five. Yeah, up by five second rank, and then up yeah, by fifteen yeah, third. Yeah. Okay. All right, my bad, my bad. And then of course it is plus forty five percent total AD instead of just forty percent AD. So actually, decent size buff there for his ultimate, just all around basically. Um. So yeah, there you go. And then Belveth up next. Uh, Belveth, another big champion change. So uh, passive, the bonus attack speed she gets per stack of her passive. Um, I think it just continues to scale. So it used to yeah. be 1 to 13, so now it's 1 to 17. Um, so yeah, just that actually is a bit of a... They say it's an adjustment, but I think it's an early nerf according to this, because levels yeah, 2 to 16 definitely nerf, have less yeah. attack speed. So yeah, so a little bit of an attack speed nerf on the passive, and then Q um, is also a slight nerf. Um, it's the it's going to do 10% less total AD damage on the Q, and then the monster damage modifier is... Uh, this requires someone good at math, but instead of 140% total damage... Uh, to monsters this modifier now it's like a flat amount yeah. and it goes 45 to 85 um and freak helpfully put a note there this is a buff <laughs> until 136 total attack damage so it'll be it, i think it will take a minute to get that for her so it'll be a buff early uh for sure on her jungle clear i think which maybe makes sense because they nerf the passive a bit yeah, for sure. And of course, like uh, check out Freak's patch note rundown as well if you want to get like the details and the numbers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I remember he said he just likes the flat damage modifiers instead of percentage based. Um, so yeah, and, and interesting for That's sure. Sense, I guess. Yeah. But all right, cool. Um, Kinnon is up next. So we got some just some small changes kind of here, but they're they could be sizable. Uh, the E lightning rush on his, well, on his E, uh, they added a range indicator for the damage radius. So now you can kind of see where that was. You sh it used to be where you just like kind of guess or you mm -hmm. see if the icon lights up when you're in range or not. Um, so yeah, it was kind of hard to see for sure. So this is a nice little clarity there. And then our slicing maelstrom can now be cast while his uh, while he's moving. He can now cast his ult while okay. he's moving. And it looks like they also gave him a new animation um, I'm not sure if that's like the whole animation or if it's just like a little bit changed, but there you go. Pretty nice for him for sure, but yeah. Yeah. All right, Neela. Um, we're getting some changes to her Q. So we're going with a modifier on the total 80 percentage for the minimum damage. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it is down just slightly early. And by max rank, you are down 10%. So you're losing 10% total AD uh, on the Q at max rank. Mm. Um, the attack speed is up. It scales up higher. So instead of capping at 50, it caps at 60% based on level. And then the critical strike damage is also nerfed. So it's nerfed by 20% at, a, I guess, the maximum it can do. So I guess overall it's probably just a nerf um does have a bit more attack speed but i think the damage and crit modifiers probably make it a nerf overall yeah yeah i would say so as well definitely all right interesting um i don't really play her a whole lot but it's definitely yeah definitely i don't see her a whole lot super so. great yeah. for her 
Um, yeah. But I know next patch they're changing all the crit items to being uh, 25% crit chance. So Ooh. I wonder if this is like kind of a preempt um, a little bit Could as be. well. You yeah, got to kind of keep okay. some of that stuff in mind as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for yeah. sure on some of these changes. But yeah. Um, all right. Sejuani, uh, passive Fury of the North Frost Armor. Uh, bonus res resists um, was a flat 10 plus 50% bonus armor and magic resist. Now it's plus 75% bonus armor and magic resist. So it's pretty sizable. Um, pretty sizable buff, honestly, while she still has yeah. her, her armor. Passive up, yeah. That's yeah. Good. And then W Winter's Wrath. The first hit damage looks like it's getting cut by five early nothing in the second rank up by five third rank up by 10 and up by 15 fourth and fifth ranks and then uh the scaling with her maximum health is now four percent instead of two percent of her max health so um a little bit less flat damage but i think overall that's going to be a little bit of a buff slightly uh certainly third and higher ranks on your w it's going to be a buff and then second hit damage, um, it was 20 to 180. Now it is 5 to 85 based on rank flat. Um, everything else is unchanged except the scaling with your max health is also up by 2% more than it was. So now it's 8% instead of 6. And then uh, that's the second hit. And the maximum damage is going to be... Uh, so it was 30 to 210, now it's 10 to 130 of the flats, so the flats are getting nerfed quite a bit here, but her scaling with her max health is up by 4% now, from 8%, it's now 12% of her max health. So, what do you think about this? Um, I think they just want to make it feel better to, like, stack health, and they... I think overall it's probably not a big deal yeah. um the health it just it makes it feel better to not have to like feel like you need to buy any kind of ap or damage item because you're going to get more out of the health items but i honestly i think the passive that like you're going to be so tanky when you're going in for the first time that i just feel like overall it'll be a buff for sure yeah i mean it's definitely a buff in terms of like later game like mid to late game i would say for sure yeah um of course if you put points in it at like at least third rank, maybe it it might be good. I'm not exactly sure how how Sejuani players put ranks in. Have you played it very much? Um, I do. I think when I play, I put. Um, I think you can go W, but I think you normally like to go um, E or E. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I have seen people people go W as well. So I think it's maybe just depends. But I I think E is like the best one to max early. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. But yeah, I think overall maybe slight slightly buffs. It looks like they are trying to trying to nudge her into the buff area yeah, for sure. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it sounds interesting. Um I, I it's quite a big nerf here especially. It is, it is. But um I don't know. I think it's fine. Uh looks good. Alright, um Skarner is up next. Skarner are most recently reworked champion um <laughs> they are giving him more mana uh growth just slightly 6.6 okay. 6.75 um his q is getting a damage nerf um yeah damage nerf overall it's going 10 to 70 now 10 to 50 um and q no longer refreshes the buff duration upon attacking wards or plants okay so we'll change there uh, the W is getting a flat slow, so 20 at all ranks. And then the shield is losing a percent. Um, so maybe, let's see what they want to do here. I guess they're in, so like saying you don't really want to dump points in a W at all, because um, mm -hmm. it's just flat at all rank. Um, and so I guess they want you to put more into Q and E. I'm not sure. I haven't played new Skarner, so... Yeah, have to tough play. to know exactly like like that refresh buff duration thing. Like it's tough for me to know exactly how big of a change this is, but um, yeah, yeah interesting I don't know. I don't. Sure. I don't think he's like too super strong right now. But I. I, don't I didn't think he was sure. crazy either. But he's. They're saying he's very overpowered in the league. Yeah, that's so. what I'm saying. Interesting. Um, but yeah, they got that little thing. So I guess you can't like extend your duration of your queue a little bit by um by attacking a ward to kind of 
extend that a bit so that's interesting as well yeah makes sense but yeah overall just bits of nerfs for sure um except like the, the managed generation i guess but yeah that, uh, that's nice i think overall it's fine um yeah i think it's overall fine the not going after 20 percent pretty big though i'd say yeah that feels like the biggest nerf right there yeah that's what i'd say all right uh champion radii radius <laughs> mm -hmm. uh so they are changing of course all the champion radiuses um there's a little bit of a rundown and of course you can you can read all that or check out uh freak's in-depth review as well but uh alistar was 140 now is 145 now he's 140 so he's slightly smaller aurelian small aurelian soul sorry uh mm -hmm. a little bit smaller Azir is going to be a lot larger, Bar is a lot larger, Blitzcrank's a little bit smaller, Brand's a lot larger, Braum is pretty decently larger, uh, Briar is a little bit larger, Darius is tiny, a little bit smaller, Diana is very large, Gangplank is pretty large, Garen is pretty large, Gragas is not quite as large. Ooh, it's like a Jace. Yeah, Jace, Jace is a big <laughs> one too, super large now. Uh, I think what basically the rundown of what he was saying was um, like Yordles are supposed to be around 80 and then or, or something like that and then like humanoids are supposed to be like 120 and then like large champions like really really large champions like Zack or Cho'Gath and stuff are supposed to be like 140 or something got like it, that got it, got it. so sense. that was like the rough rule or maybe it was Yordles supposed to be like 100 because I think Teemo's 100 yeah, I think it's Yordle's supposed right. to be 100, Humanoids are supposed to be, like, 120, and then, like I said, yeah, okay. But yeah, this is a rough little gist, basically, but Cassante is up, just all these changes are a little bit, depending on what champions you play, you can kind of kind of look at what they are, I'm not going to go down all of them, but uh, notable, Yasuo and Yone are pretty large, too, so yeah. there yeah. you go. Um, and I think this also affects being able to click on them as well, so... Um, yeah, it's definitely, it doesn't attack, like he says, it doesn't affect attack ranges, skill shot accuracy, or anything else like that. So it's not like it changes gameplay a ton, but it's just slightly easier. Like, really Soul is super easy to click on, basically, but like, um, Azir wasn't very, so just yeah, stuff like that. Easy. And then game, gameplay collision radius, um, so pathfinding and stuff. Um, the Aurelian Soul is going up a little bit, Briar is going up a little bit, Darius is going down a little bit, actually. Cassante going up a bit, Lulu going down, Melee going down, Fury going up, Vex going down, Warwick going up a little bit, and then um, Yumi going down and Zoe going down a little bit. And of course they have the pathfinding radius changes as well. So there you go. Nice. It's nice, kind of interesting, nice, nice. kind of small details, but if you are into that yeah. type of stuff, definitely look. Um, small gameplay changes. What does this okay. say at the end? Uh, the kind that the might have been the dangerous is that one T5 that cost you the game when you were gold one at 94 yeah, LP. Alright, uh, so small changes for champions. You want to start us off? Yeah, so we got Ari coming through here. Uh, w, the damage is down. It was 50 to 150, now it's 45 to 145. Um, so just slight damage nerf to the W. Um, but there are three. I wonder if that's like per little foxfire thingy so it might be uh, i'm not sure or is it total i would damage? assume that's total yeah yeah okay and then uh spirit rush um is a nerf as well it's cooldown is unchanged at rank one down 10 or up 10 rather and then up 20 at max rank so um she'll have spirit rush on a right. longer cooldown after rank one yeah, definitely some nerfs. I know she's been pretty popular in pro, so that's probably why they're hitting her a bit. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Her her old being on 80 seconds was pretty pretty dumb in yeah. my opinion. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I mean, I could see it, I guess. Um, Amumu base attack damage is going up by four. Wow. And then uh, base armor going up by three. Did you say big? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um. Expecting to be quite powerful in lower skill brackets, so they're just basically giving him some some nice base stats. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool. Straight up. Aurelian, uh, Aurelian Soul uh, E damage is coming down by twenty percent AP ratio. So a nerf on the E. Um. Yep. Yeah, okay. You will just do less damage on that. That seems fine. Yeah. Uh, nothing super crazy. Um. 
All right, and then Blitzcrank, the passive man mana barrier, uh, passive shield duration was 10 seconds long. Now it's going to be only going to be four seconds that he has that mm. shield if you don't uh, cut through it. So that's a pretty big nerf, but um, it yeah, was a okay. pretty crazy long long duration, honestly. Um, True. So that's, I think, fair. W Overdrive, initial bonus movement speed is also getting hurt. Uh, I think looks like 10% down for every level. Um so that's the initial bonus movement speed as well, not just like the entire, because um, it does decay over the duration. But uh, yeah, a little bits of nerfs to him for sure. Nice, that's fine. <laughs> um, Evelyn, we've got the slow on her charm is nerfed. But it used to do 65% slow, now it's 45%. And then her nice. ultimate is going to be less scaling with the ap by 10 so it's down to 65 percent ap ratio nice. um I like I, that. evelyn hasn't been like oppressive but yeah it seems fine i don't think yeah. it's like too crazy she's pretty pretty op when she gets ahead so i think yes are nice that is true nice that is nurse true. for that for sure um yeah. and that allure slow is pretty crazy actually <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah, mostly yeah. the charm yeah uh, either way, uh, Jana. Actually, you wanna you wanna hit this one. I'll hit the yeah, next. Yeah, I can do Jana. So Jana's been like a top of the tier for supports for the last couple patches. Okay. Um, so I think this is them trying to like fix it a bit. So okay. they are nerfing the Zephyr, which is her W. Uh, the flat damage is down okay. uh, across every rank except the first, and it's so it'll be down twenty by max rank, and then the AP scaling is down by. 10%. Um, and on the on the OP Janna build, you're maxing Zephyr first. So okay. Makes the, sense. It, you'll definitely feel the, the damage, loss of damage there. And then um, E, they are buffing past Sweet. rank one. Yeah. Um, so I think they're just trying to balance out because old Janna build you used to max E. Um, yeah. And then new Janna build, you max W. So I think they're trying to like kind of bring it back to the emacs yep. if they can definitely yeah. looks like a... it is unfortunate it's only like a little bit of uh base base shield, I know, I know. but yeah uh at least it's something so i'll take it i guess yeah cool okay and then uh jinx up next we just got a small change here the r uh super mega death rocket of course uh cooldown at rank one it's going up by 15 seconds rank two it's up by 10 and rank three is up by five seconds so still not super long but um definitely hurting her a little bit and it is up quite a bit so nice yes. yeah. nice touch there for sure karma changes um haven't tried these out myself but i heard they're pretty nice uh <laughs> so the slow on the q is getting a five percent increase um and it's important to note this is just her normal q so not the mantra q Gotcha. Um, so this like the Q she has, she's able to spam more often. That slow is increased, and then um, this is a pretty nice change as well. It's going to be uh, her mantra shield. It used to do less, a little bit less, but less to everybody but the primary target. So now everybody in the mantra shield range gets the full shield, which is kind of nice. Thanks. Um, and then they also get a bit more uh, move speed bonus. So. Um, That'll be the the Q change. I think will be really nice in lane, and then yeah, the Mantra definitely. Shield change is going to be really nice for team fights like late game. So I think um, I don't think this is going to make her like bust it like sometimes happens, but yeah. it's nice, definitely nice change. Yeah, I don't I don't think these are super crazy. I think these are perfectly fine. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. nice. All right, good stuff. Um, Cassidin E Force Pulse. Uh, everything's unchanged except the AP scaling of it. Uh, it is down by 10%. Of course, this is the the one that used to be you have to get stacks by having spell cast. Now you don't have to do that anymore. So um, it's definitely definitely like one of his main wave clears as well. But it is only the scaling, so it's not too big of a deal, I don't think. I mean, it definitely hurts him, but I think it's fair. Yeah. Malzahar. Um, let's see. Malzahar mana cost for the Q are... It's going oh, nice. down... Yeah, that's nice. So it costs less mana to use Q. Um, and then E, Malefic Visions. Um, this is his super easy farm, turn your brain off farming ability. Um, the cooldown wow. is getting lower. So uh, wow. if you thought it was easy to farm before, uh, it is even easier to farm now. So that's that's pretty that's pretty good for 
from Alzahar. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> uh, all right, nice. Yeah, this is some pretty large bust from Alzahar. And, and I think it's also important to note that um that Q is his uh isn't that the thing that has his like silence on it? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So the fact that he can spam that without eating through his mana now is is pretty pretty nice as well. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I like these. These are some nice changes. Yeah. All right. Gonna start buying QSS more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Master Yi. Um, next up, we got his E Wuju style bonus true damage. Just the flat. Um, it was thirty to fifty based on rank. Now it is twenty to forty. Um, so just a little bit less damage overall for his active, basically. Um, on that, of course. And looks like his he was uh, he they want his power level to be um late game dps more than early game dueling so that's fair i guess he does scale pretty well so just taking some early game damage out of him especially against yeah. tanks for sure yeah 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 olaf um olaf is currently two lane dominant uh well uh no spoilers but i saw someone at msi play olaf and <laughs> it seemed pretty dominant so uh right, agree agree um <laughs> so uh let's see damage on the q is coming down um by five and then yeah by five at all ranks and then the bonus damage to monsters is going up actually so i think they're definitely trying to nudge him into the jungle still um or back yeah, into the jungle rather certainly. and then the resistances you get from ragnarok are down as well um yep so they're just trying to make jungle off maybe more attractive than top lane Olaf. i don't know about you maybe this is maybe this is more than it looks but uh this kind of looks like almost a buff <laughs> yeah i don't think i don't think like the damage on the q was the the thing that really made it by bad. five damage it, yeah it was like it was like the slow <laughs> right it was the slow on the Q that made it oppressive, not the yeah. damage. And yeah. then, so, so they didn't hit the slow and then they gave him a buff to monsters. And I don't, yeah, I think it's I mean, maybe not a buff, just... but it's like, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I think, I think it's, he's going to be totally fine in top lane. <laughs> nice. And I think this is good actually. I don't think he needs to have free, free bonus yeah. resists anyway. So yeah, yeah. Agreed. agreed. Cool. All right. Spike W ghost water, uh, dive monocost, was 50 now it's 65 so up by 15 uh, i think that's a good idea yeah i don't want him yeah, to just yeah. like be able to hop into the being being invisible and heal for free quite as often so yeah. that's good and then the cool down of it is also going up by two seconds early and two seconds late so two seconds overall every rink um there you go nice yep. i like this yep, yep, yep. um seraphine buff let's go i have tested this one this feels pretty good um doesn't seem like a big change, but it it's pretty nice. Uh, it's just ten percent AP into the Q, um, which with they recently changed. They gave her a buff a few patches ago that made her Q like the the travel time a lot less, so that like the oh, yeah. Yeah. the effect goes faster. And then you also have to remember normally um, you're you're using the double cast Q a lot of times, so you're getting two of these. Yep, yep. Um, and the second one does bit more damage so that uh that 60 that extra 10 percent can definitely definitely add up quickly um Sweet. so yeah it's pretty good it just it lets you build a little bit more damage now um, yeah definitely as, as support like this. yeah it's nice it's nice all right uh up next we got talia q threaded volley the mana cost uh it's going up by 10 at every rank uh it says no mana, mana cost of 20 on worked ground is unchanged okay interesting so it is cheaper on worked ground i actually didn't even know that so interesting <laughs> yeah. uh bonus damage to monsters um was the flat is unchanged but it, it used to be 10 percent uh plus 10 percent ap scaling now it's plus five percent so she does less damage to monsters so obviously hurting her jungle there a little bit as well um but yeah this, this is going to cost quite a bit more actually this could yeah could hurt her quite a bit i'm not 100 percent sure but um yeah all right interesting what do you think about removing her from mid lane <laughs> um, i don't if you want her out of mid lane why did you hurt her jungle bonus damage yeah good quest 
good question. <laughs> <laughs> good question. Uh, I, don't know. I think I, I think she people like her mid lane because of her alt. So I think uh, I think she's still gonna prefer mid lane. Even you know what I mean? Yeah, I would say so overall. Yeah. I do think she's yeah. all right in the jungle now, but not yeah, as she's good not as some for sure. Yeah. All right. Interesting. The uh, rat. The rat. <laughs> Where go? Okay, what are they doing to Twitch? They are hitting his base health by quite a bit. Um, they're hitting his health. Okay, so he's getting more health per uh, level, I suppose, but he's losing a lot of base health at rank 1. Um, they are hitting the AP ratio on his W just by a little bit. 1% AP ratio. And then um, they are... Also hitting his attack damage he gets from his ultimate, which will be 10 at every rank. So um, that will hurt his ult. It'll take a little bit of the bite out of it, probably early especially. But hmm. I actually think the health that he loses at rank 1 could be... I don't know. I feel like it'll be easier to bully him early. Um, yeah, Definitely. I which is maybe their their goal here because he is like pretty strong late game so i think that's what they're trying to do yeah i like it i think this is all good good stuff yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. all right uh ergot armor growth decreased so uh his base stats <laughs> armor growth just going from 5.45 to 5.0 so all right i like that he was also also saw uh someone play ergot in msi and he seemed pretty busted so, so. <laughs> yeah so i've heard so i've heard <laughs> He seemed pretty wide. I'll just put it at that. He was a pretty wide ergot. <laughs> All right. Aram balance changes. So obviously you can look at that stuff. It doesn't look like a too much, uh, but uh, like definitely people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Check out that stuff. Uh, MSI clash is coming. Registration begins on April 29th. It's already happened. And it's actually as of the recording tomorrow and the day after. So yeah. there you go. Is it, the, is, it, um, is it the big, the big clash? I think so. I think they do that around like the events. They do like the the bigger bracket. So, um, just double check that before you lock in, because um, you maybe <laughs> it's a two to three game clash, and it might be quite a few more games. So, yeah, definitely. definitely. Uh, double check for sure. Uh, behavioral systems. So it looks like um, TLDR kind of is. They are making it less painful when people leave your game or like grief or whatever. We have a verified leader or feeder. When they're in, identified, um, you might, depending on the situation, of course, you might get LP, you get auto field protection, XP boost, or a ram rerolls. Um, so give me the give me the XP boost. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take all of that stuff for sure. So there you go. Uh, it says additionally, warnings will now be issued for players who have received a large volume of reports requiring them to review and accept that code of conduct. They will be punished if they continue to see receive high volumes of reports. <laughs> All right, um, Mythic Shop rotation, Lee Sin ASU kickoff. Uh, where could Lee Sin hop to without a reliable wardrobe? Uh, okay, so it looks like... This is like them bringing back his... all his skins and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But it's only this patch, so you really only have... If you're a big Lee Sin fan or you're you're wanting a skin, you gotta, gotta yep. go quick. Especially then Prestige Nightbringer. There you go. Yep, 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 yep. All right, bug fixes, fixes and quality of life changes. Uh, there's a Fiora E quality of life change and then a bunch of bug fixes. Be sure to read these. These can be important for sure. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, we've got some skins here. Imperial Nicali, Brand, Kale, Malzahar. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, Splash, Splash actually. Uh, now I see why they buffed him. I understand. Uh -huh. <laughs> gotta, sell, gotta sell the skins. <laughs> yeah. uh, Nocturne, Varus, and Prestige version of Kale as oh, well. Nice. Kind of interesting. Nice. But yeah, uh, here's a little sneak peek onto those. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's been fun overall. What do you think about this patch? Good, bad? Um, right on well, I like. Part, I like. Uh, uh, they buffed. Uh, they buffed Seraphine, so I gotta say A plus patch. But yeah, obviously. Um, <laughs> It does feel it does feel weird because like I guess this is the one to close out the season and then the next patch is gonna go hard so yeah um, yeah yeah get ready for that one I guess <laughs> I'm kind of interested how to see how the champion radius ends up in, like coming like feeling I guess uh, yeah. or mattering at all yeah yeah so that's kind of interesting as well but yeah um, also 
this is your last chance, this patch, to play Lethal Tempo and what's the other one that's leaving? Uh, another, Predator, yeah. I think. I think so, yep. So uh, definitely get those in while you can. Um, <laughs> but yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.